As a Christian, there are rewards that you will receive. Better said, that you may receive, depending on your works here in heaven. Now, as we know, we are saved by faith. One must believe the gospel, that God loved us so much that he sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross for us, our Lord, Savior, and King, and he raised him from the dead. And as long as you believe in the Lordship of Jesus, and believe that he rose from the dead, you have salvation, period. But in addition to that, there are rewards which we will receive based upon the actions that we've done here. These are extra things which the Lord has for us. So Paul, in the ninth chapter, his first epistle to the church in Corinth, he says, you know not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the master is temperate in all things, and they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. This is the King James, it mentions crown, the NIV mentions crown as well as other versions, but these are actually rewards. As a quick aside when reading the Bible, translations are translations. The King James, the NIV, ESV, all these versions are translations and sometimes translations is translations. So let's go to the original and see what Paul wrote with his own hand concerning this word crown. For in our modern day, crowns don't mean much. So you heard me just talk about incorruptible crown. And if you read this, it's Stephanon. That's the accusative case, meaning the direct object because you're receiving the crown. So the it's Stephanos. And this time, that is the first century. In the public games, winners would receive a wreath or a crown. And that is a thing to which Paul was making reference. But this also means a badge of royalty. As we know, we are running this Christian race. That is what we will receive. The crown for finishing the race from our Lord and King Jesus himself. And that's what Stephanos is referring to in Paul herein. But what are these crowns? There are five crowns. Stephano, a plural, mentioned in the New Testament. Let's dive in. The first one I already mentioned is the incorruptible crown. That's for us who finish this race faithful, not wavering in our faith. The second crown is actually found in the first epistle to the church in Thessalonica. Verse 19 in the second chapter saith thus, But what is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing? Are not even ye in the presence of our Lord Jesus at his coming? In other epistles, Paul tells us to be rejoicing, rejoicing, rejoicing. And not just any rejoicing, but to rejoice always in the Lord, Philippians 4, 4. This is the crown or prize or royal badge, Stephanos, and represents our reward, wherein there will be in heaven no crying, pain, tear, none of that. Hallelujah. The third crown is a crown of righteousness. In the eighth verse of the fourth chapter, in his second letter to Timothy, Paul writes, Henceforth, there is later for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me on that day and not to me only, but to all of them also that love his appearing. Being as this represents righteousness, this is from Jesus Christ. There's no way to receive any of these, period, without believing in Jesus, but this one is because no man is righteous. We are evil, perverted, sin-filled beings. But Jesus' righteousness <sighs> took all that away. Hallelujah, praise his name. This particular step in us is for those that await the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The fourth crown is a crown of glory. This one is written by Peter in Peter's first letter. He writes in chapter 5, starting at verse 4. And when the chief shepherd, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. And add to the former crown those that await Jesus' return. This crown of glory is written mainly to elders of churches. Those are those that are governing authority over local churches. But it's also written to all those who are awaiting the return of Christ and his glory. How blessed we're all going to be to enter the kingdom of God. In the Greek, since we're mentioning a lot of Greek words here. In the fifth crown, the last crown, is a crown of life. In the book of Revelations, and this is Jesus himself speaking. The tenth verse of the second chapter of the aforementioned book. Jesus writes, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison and ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation ten days be thou faithful unto death and i will give thee a crown of life this crown here is for all believers but chiefly especially among those who under suffering for as jesus said you may suffer going into prison be tried stay strong and you will receive that stephano for this stephanos crown again is given by jesus as they all are it must be stated that it is by faith that you were saved according to ephesians 2 8 and 9. Jesus says to store up. Don't focus on building up treasures and riches here. Focus on treasures in heaven where moth does not destroy. These are just some of the rewards. So finish your faith strong. Live a life worthy of Christ. Build upon the foundation that is Christ and stay in your word. For this is the authority and every scripture written herein is God inspired. And when we finish, pray that we may receive some of these crowns. Hallelujah.